Good morning, chickens. It is the morning after getting all these. They came yesterday afternoon about 4:30. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep them locked in the coop for at least two days. Um, it's gonna be a little cramped, but this let's say lock-in period is to imprint that the coop is home. This is their cave. This is their shelter they go back to every night. This, <laughs> of course, there's mud all over it. This is the new coop which is just like the blue coop except apparently not as good it came from the same farm it was only at the other end of the county so it was close at least how you girls doing looks like they're ex discovering a nesting box uh, they're still probably three to four weeks away from laying um it's april 23rd Earth Day, or was that yesterday? Maybe it was yesterday. So for Earth Day, we got a bunch of chickens. Yes, 500 more. There's 275, and the other one about 225. And here, this coop isn't as big. See how, how you girls do with the perches? They're finding them already, which is good. They're probably I'm gonna have to add some more. Even on the uh, less new chickens, they don't even use all the perches. A lot of them will still sleep on the floor, anyways. And you girls have uh, thoroughly fertilized the grass underneath here and some feathers too. That's just from being in close quarters. I don't like having them say closed up this tight. Um, but we gotta, we gotta imprint home that this big, whatever they wanna call it, gypsy wagon is their home. How's it going in there? You can see you guys in the side. The less new chickens have done a thorough job of eating down anything growing out here. And we even let them into the yard a little bit to uh, mow down a little swath here. Once they were there getting kind of low on green stuff, so I let them in the yard and they mowed it down. And they spent the winter on this section. A few weeds are growing back, but we're gonna till that up soon enough that this is not a problem. But this area, used to resemble something more like this out here all green and overgrown and that would be hard to till up for the vegetables so now we have the chickens the less new ones out here in the greenery and they can destroy this uh, so we can plant i don't know corner beans here i had silage corn here last year i will come to my original coop this is the one we built and uh, let them out. I really don't have a good permanent door cover. The door is always open so the chickens can come and go as they please. And the door will stay open. Okay, who wants out? There you go, there's Crooked Beak. Crooked Beak is the most well-known chicken because look at her poor beak. She was born like that. And she's always the first one everywhere. She's an Americana. Oh, come on, you girls were fighting to get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see some action. Okay, we'll come to this trailer. Hey, we use the water tank to block your door over here. Come on. I know. You girls have been waiting. You girls don't need the training. We can also cheat to let them out because this trailer has easy access from the outside for egg collection. Do you enjoy your night in the trailer over there? Okay, everybody can get out this way now, too. A little prop. Now, when it's real hot in the summer, I'll open these up. Oh, there's the big exodus. They're finally figuring out how to get out of that trailer now. Of course, I don't know if they want to come outside because now Nick's here. I'd be going back in the trailer. Yeah, you girls might want to stay inside. I have no way to prop this door open. This door is, well, it only opens so far, but it's a door and in the winter it's great because it's a door. 
I'll move your water tank here in a second, girls, if you'd all get out of the way. Mmm, yeah, I know. You girls didn't have water last night. You ready for water? And there's Crooked Beak again. Straight for the food. Hungry little monsters. Yeah, I feed in the swimming pools. More access. It doesn't matter if the food gets wet because they'll still pick through it. And for chickens, it's like the nastier the better. We got some manure I spread out here. They're going to destroy the weeds, even those pretty little blue ones over there. Let's see, I'm running. I ended up with six roosters. I have them just to break up, I guess, fights between the hens. And really, I don't want fertilized eggs, but hopefully the chickens, no, not the chicken, hopefully the roosters can sound the alarm when anything flies overhead. Flying monkeys. Come on, make the jump. Make the jump, you can do it. It's like diving lessons in swimming school. Come on, jump. It's not to your death, trust me. The only thing out here is grass. There's food. You're jumping into food. Do you like jumping into food? No. That's a lie. What time is it, girls? Well, it must be feeding time because they have all come running over here. It's time to get them food. Just because they're all waiting and they know what time it is. So that's what's nice about the hens once they lay as they recognize humans as bringing food and here shortly we're gonna let the new ones out and hopefully they don't run away on us they might be ready to explore the great outdoors hopefully they are maybe they won't be but we gotta get this board out of the way of the door yeah we see it's got the Electric door opener, if you look on the back over here, there's some leftover timer parts. And unfortunately, the conditions of being outside and being in and out of this door uh, did not bode well for their endurance. That the plug has worn out on that one for plugging in the actuator. And I don't feel too hard pressed with predators that we just left the door open as long as the chickens go inside at night, we'll be fine. So the girls have a new escape hole. Now just see if they'll use it. I don't want to force them out. This is very unceremonious, unfortunately. They're not coming out. Now this trailer, we had to put the door on. Didn't have a door. And uh, we're just gonna cut a hole through the Lexan here. I probably don't even have to open the door for it. And even then, these chickens may not come out after there's a hole cut. But we can hear them inside. Time for another unceremonious moment. Just got done fiddling with my pocket knife to cut this stuff. It was a little slow. Would have been better with, say, some sort of saw and like that. The door is open. The chickens can come out. And they're not ready yet. And this one, the door has been open and they haven't left either. One day they will be daring. Today may not be that day, but now they have the option to get out. And I think hopefully, yeah, they're flighty. I'm not wild about that part. It won't be until they lay eggs will they get under control and realize that us big two-legged things bring the food, that we're good. So see how quickly, there's a few of them checking out the door. Are you gonna leave? I gotta get a, you girls still need a step to get out. So don't leave too quick. Okay. We're back out here the next day after making the doors and the coops open for the chickens. And we gotta kinda sneak up on them, but maybe you can see a few over there in the shade have left the trailer. And earlier, a few of them are poking their heads out of this door, but they've all since ran back in because it's really scary out here in the daylight. Oh, gotta feed them. Who's hungry? But apparently not for grass. Yeah, you gotta come outside for all the good stuff, girls. You can do it. We could maybe see a few chickens there for a split second. They're rather flighty. Oh, there goes one. 
and there's a bunch underneath the far trailer. There's a couple here getting close to the fence and she's probably gonna go running back. We can see the one going up the, the ramp to the trailer and there's ones peeking out the door. They're slowly thinking about coming outside. Granted, this is a couple days after they've been dumped out here in the real world where things are wild and free, like grass that's taller than them. And it's about to rain here soon. Uh, as far as I know, they've been going inside at night, so that's good. They understand the concept of the trailer's home. They obviously don't leave, they don't go far from it. And see what I was worried about, letting them out too soon is the fact that <laughs> they'll say that I scare them. I'm not even that close, I'm outside the fence here. That maybe they decide to leave the coop and try to jump the fence and do stupid things. So there they are, they're outside. Um, and I'll let you guys know when we get eggs, but that's probably at least three weeks away still. So in the meantime, we're going to call this a fun farming adventure, and we'll see what else is in store here at the farm.